Today, finally, it's been years in the making, the spotlight with the legendary, soon to be icon, Yolanda Jordan. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Yolanda. Good evening, um, Caesar Gordon Throwback. <laughs> Where do we start? Let me see how, let's, okay, for the viewers who may not know who you are, who is Yolanda? The, the, let's, hear, let, t let's first, how old are you? Well, I'll be going on 32. 32. <laughs> so I really have a lot of time in the game right now. Um, I'm Yolanda Jordan. I am a person from the 90s and I've prevailed into the Wait, wait, wait. Process. Let's take it step by step. Okay. How old were you when you began your transition? Wow. Um, I started, well, I knew all my life, but I started at 9, 10 years old. 9, 10 years old. You knew that you was meant to be a woman. Right. So, how did you get into this life at that young age? So, in the, like, beginning of the transition, I was, like, trying to figure out, you know, which way to go and what way did I want to go. And a friend of mine had guided me to the village. And then from the village, I got into the ballroom scene. Um, my first house was the House of Princess. And Tim Princess, shout out to you. He was a great father to me. Um, and that's basically like how I, you know, for, it, it was like steps. You went to the village and then you go from there, you know, you meet a few people and then they brought you into ballroom and then from Princess to Jordan. Jordan. So what year would you say that was about? Um, Jordan's had to be in the early 90s, like 90s. Ooh. 95 probably? Not, right. There you go. 95, 96, I would say. Okay. I became Yolanda Jordan, and um, it was a huge house name, held name. It was something that I didn't even um, know. You know, it was mm -hmm. just like, wow, like, oh my gosh, all these people know me. Everybody wants to do what I'm doing. Um, How did you get involved in that house when you was a New York girl, and that was a Jersey house? Well, one of my sisters, Brie Blanco, mm -hmm. shout out to you. Who um, may not know, that's Kiana. Right. Mm -hmm. She basically knew like okay you're going through some stuff in new york and um the princess the house kind of went you know where it went you know as far as like tim not wanting to be the father no more and all that stuff so jordan's being a more stronger house having more members and um it just was like a success overnight it's almost like a tina turner story <laughs> <laughs> tina turner yolanda jordan <laughs> right okay so yolanda jordan the beginning was vogue your first category um, definitely. Definitely. Your... I've always loved performance. I've branched into realness. I've done Sex Siren a few, well, once or twice. I've done it. Done Trilogy a couple times. Right. Trilogy. Also, for the girls that may not know, also did Face, right? Right. Face. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess at that time I was an overall femme queen because they wanted me to do so many different things. I had Vogue for so long, they wanted me to branch out of that. I had did this to whatever, whatever, but I always love performance it's just something a way of kind of venturing out okay so yolanda jordan femme queen performance 1996 bring us back there to your beginning days of femme queen performance my beginning days of i love queen. the smile when you just think about it <laughs> yeah because it's it's like that's when ballroom was ballroom you know it was just like you know you had the top fives because um Shout out to Samaya, my mother. I love her dearly. Um, you know, Tim Princess would always play tapes of Samaya for me. And I used, was so amazed at how she would spin her hair around and fall into the layouts and do all the dips and stuff like that. So then he finally brought her over to the house one day. And it was just like an out-of-body experience. You know, because I had watched her so many times. And to actually see her right there in front of me, it was like, wow. You know, so then came on to... I, seen Sanaya in person, then I've seen Ashley, um, and actually those are my first two top favorites for what I like to do, because Ashley was the type to wake up the building, and Sanaya was the type to kind of, I don't, I don't know how to describe them, Sanaya was more on a sexy, you know, seductive, you know what I mean, make your boyfriend want some shit, you know, and then so Ashley kind of would just, the crowd. Right. She'll she was the crowd pleaser, win or lose, but she did what she had to do as far as that performance. You get so So let's talk about them for that then. You know, you was the young girl, you was 
barely in your teens. Right. <laughs> they, Ashley, they would say, is the mother of dramatics. And exactly. I is the mother of sex. Right. How did your performance come about? What would you describe your performance back then? Not now, not grown woman, Yolanda, but back then. Back then, I was still learning. Mm. So, like I said, I had seen Sanaya first. That was the first female performance, you know, femme queen performance that I've ever seen. And then I seen Ashley. So, my mind kind of got shifted from wanting to be, you know, sexy to then I saw this you know, it, it just, it, I don't know, it's something about Ashley Icon that kind of just shook me in. And I the love Sanaya for even in and out. You so, know? Let's, let's get right to it. Right. Tell me right. your battle, your first battle with both of them. And what happened <sighs> after that? Okay, my first battle with both of them. Wow. Give me your first battle with Ashley. I think you only had a, one battle. You're with. right, only one. She only let you get one. <laughs> you better get it off. Good, <laughs> one one shot deal. Um, <sighs> you know, I was the new reigning supreme coming along, and you know, not to say because I love both of them dearly and I love them to death. Well, they but know, like but it's I just said, you being real. Just you being. But real. like I said, the physical part of it. <laughs> You know, for everyone out there, the physical, technical, okay, this person is over here dancing, and then that person is over here, whatever, and then y'all go into this lock. What I've known about locking is old way. So if you're going to do femme queen performance, we should not lock. Um, half the time, I zone out on the runway, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. I don't know if I would hit a person or whatever. It's called a cat fight, so you kind of... You know, it's win or lose, like how I'm always thinking in my mind. But um, Ashley did lock me. At the clubhouse. Slammed her hair around me like 30 times and then went into a dip. I, it was fine. It was whatever. But I looked at the judges and what they said, and they were very upset because they're like, you know, you cannot be hitting these children out here. You, <laughs> you people are adults. Do not come out here doing this type of stuff. And that's when it started clicking into my mind something different. Like, wait a minute, this that wasn't right. You get what I mean? Her putting her leg around me in the middle of a performance and slamming her hair all around me, it was not right. You know, to where she did give me the trophy and walked off and said whatever she had to say and whatever. However, I was the next bitch in line for the next five girls to come, which was me, wait, Alora, wait, 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 let's Deja, not even get to you, Mika, you, and Johnny. You no, I just said, no, I'm no, sorry, no. I slipped that in you there. Just, yeah, no, 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 but you, we're going to get to that next segment. But right, but so. you want to get through these, right, because this is a lot. No right. one, one thing I can say, one thing, no other girl from my time has had the chance or the opportunity to dance on the runway with these five individuals that I am naming right now and... I give much love to all five of them for keeping their self Go ahead, name in them. Order, Sanaya, Ashley, Latisha, Christina, and Alyssa. You battled every single one of and them. And I battled every last one. I didn't win over Alyssa because just how that went. But it was just... Me and Alyssa's performance, our battle, I, I guess it was when I finally knew I was about to become a legend. Because she did not touch me. She didn't hit me. She went straight for the judges. I vote to the back. I went to the judges. She went to the back. So we kept it, you know, just so clean. And that's what I, I loved about Alyssa. Um, as far as the other four, Christina, Latisha, Ashley, and Sonia, wait. Did I say it right? <laughs> yes. Oh, right. <laughs> wait, wait, so back up. What happened your first battle with Sanaya? Oh, Legendary right. night. And that's my mother. I love her to death. Like, just like how she, you know, she did her part. I'm doing my part. Um, Well, she had another daughter, which was Charisma. And prior to me and Sanaya's battle, me and Charisma had these vicious battles. We kept, you know, going at it in the club, going at it, going at it. So, um, she then wanted to, I guess, you get what I'm saying, step up, you know what I mean, to like, you know, she she just, she wanted to step up for her daughter in that way, it was like, okay, wait a minute, you're eating my daughter up all the time, so, um, you get what I'm saying, now it's your turn, <laughs> so, whatever the fact, it was like, okay, I'm out there, I'm battling someone else, and then the, everybody starts running to the back, and then the whole back shuts down, so I turn around, and it's her, so I'm like, Huh, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah or no. Nah. 
<laughs> you can't because 